Hello friends, this is the Garage Woodworker and in the series of videos I'm going to show you my attempt to resurrect my free to air satellite system which has been idle out in the weather for about six years. So follow me along with this journey which probably will be in several parts. Here is my old disc and it is actually a motorized system which means that I can with this setup be able to connect to probably 25 different satellites. Free to air, if you're not familiar with it, is a system of satellites in which you buy the equipment but there are no monthly fees. We're not doing, talking about illegal activity here. You're not going to get channels like HBO, but you're going to get a lot of the national feeds and you're going to get a lot of international programming. And I will take your look along with me on the road of trying to resurrect it. I've started taking the bolts apart and all the, the hardware that is actually rusted and clean it and reassemble it and then test it. Hopefully this old girl will be able to track satellites again and I will show you how that works as we go along. I was amazed I was able to take all these very rusty parts off. As you can see they're all very rusty and crusty and I will try to recondition them because it's always better to use the original parts especially for things like this, electronics this is the mount assembly for the motor and here you see the motor itself that has actually weathered very well, I don't see any rust on the motor itself but there is a fair amount of rust here and this is a critical component because this is where we set our latitude as you can see so this is a very important part of our assembly or reassembly when we're done. This wrench was definitely invaluable in this process because it allowed me to go deep in these long bolts and if you consider that the nuts were somewhere there that was a long travel and it made the process much easier because this can actually travel without any difficulty through a long bolt. This specific one is made by Craftsman and I'm not getting any payment from Craftsman but I think it's an amazing set of tools and mine happened to come with the most common sizes that they're both American Standard or metric. For the next step I've put all the rusty old parts into a plastic container and I will cover them for vinegar, with vinegar. Then I'm going to wait 48 hours and see how clean they are and I might even leave them longer. After that I'm going to prime them so they will not rust again and I will again take you along this journey. You can very clearly see here the reaction of the vinegar with the parts. All those bubbles is what's working the rust out of the parts. chemistry in action folks. This requires some patience but requires absolutely no work on your part. As I said I'm going to leave that for two days and get back to it. In the meantime I have started painting the parts that I'm not going to put in vinegar and those are primarily parts that they are bigger and they have integrity so I hope you have a great week and I will see you soon. This is a grass woodworker. Take care.